Silenced. Throw some more physical attack on there. Blinded. No! Ah! That was bad timing right there, guys. That was bad timing. Let's just win. Only It's only game. Why do you have to be mad? One of the things, guys, that I'm very much looking forward to trying with this new Kark skin. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Kark's. So it's 100% of physical attack, right? This puts me at about 90k, about 90,000 physical attack. When I get the Celestial skin and max it out, I'm going to be doing about 90,000 damage per hit, right? But it doubles, so 180,000 damage per hit, right? 180,000 damage per hit. Keep that in mind, 180. Then I have Nebula, who if I can time, if I can time the Nebula Equilibrium Ball to be on Kark when he uses his ultimate, that pushes his physical attack up to about 155-ish double damage, which puts it over 300k. A 300k per three enemy, right? Hitting three enemies for 300k damage each. And uh, if Nebula's got her artifact weapon up, which she often does, that's a, a 20k increase to physical attack, plus this right here. So let's call it 80k for easy math. That puts it 170k damage times two for Kark. 170k damage times two is 340,000 damage. 340,000 damage on three targets, okay? And then, and then you have this cutie pie right here. Fenris blinds enemies for three seconds and deals physical damage, right? Blind enemies. Blinded enemies take extra damage when taking physical damage. So at max, Fenris will boost physical damage by 50%. So 340 damage, 150% of 340 damage is what? 180, 160, 170 damage? 170K? Yeah, 170K. That puts you at well over 500K damage. Well over 500,000 damage on three targets. If you time all of that correctly, without a crit, I see Tank off saying plus crit with Sebastian. If you time all of that correctly, Kark will do, <laughs> Kark will do over 1.5 million damage without critting. Without critting. I just think that's beautiful. I think it's beautiful and I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to try that.